Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see more on Git branch. So in last video, we have seen the branching strategy. In this video, we are going to do practical of uh, the same branching strategy, why the branching strategy is and how branching strategy works. Let us assume that I have number of branches and I have to list out all the branches which is created. So I will say git branch. So what it says, it says it's not a repository. So we have to go in our project repository. because in that directory git is not initialized that means local repository for that directory is not created let us again give the same command git branch so it says as of now i have only one branch one local branch and the my pointer is also pointing to the my master branch now i want to create another branch so i will say git branch and branch name let's assume i need dev branch so we have created another branch and to list this branch we'll say again git branch so now it's showing us two branches one is dev another is master but my pointer is pointing to master branch so i have two branch but currently whatever the changes will do it will go to the master because my pointer is pointing to master branch now let us assume what are the content we have or the code we have in our current working directory so we have here number of files in the current working directory so if you want to switch from the master branch to dev branch and want to do some development like for example here we have master branch here and now we have to switch here to the development branch all right so how to switch it so we'll say git check out dev so we will say switch to branch dev now we'll say the same command git and git branch so it will say you have two branches but currently your pointer is to dev branch right why because we have just switched from master branch to dev branch and here we can see all the files so now this is very important why we are able to see all the files which is in the master branch so by default in the git it's have the behavior to show all the files of master branch to the development branch or the sub branches so whatever the things we'll see in the master branch by default you will get in the development branch all right so here that's the reason what are the files or codes available in the master branch in the current working directory of the project we can able to see that all right so it will not restrict us so if i say git status so i will say on master branch nothing to commit because this all the things are already committed by the master branch all right now let's create one file vi i will create one a test file test.rb i'll already have that file so let's change the name so we'll say who.rb this file created by dev branch all right we'll save the changes now we'll do the ls so we have one more file called as foo.rb now we'll run the command git status 
so it will say one new file is there and it's an untracked file now let us add this file into the staging so we'll say git add hyphen hyphen all so it will <coughs> run the, add the new file so it will go into the staging now we'll do the one commit so we'll say git commit hyphen m and we'll write this commit done by dev and we'll give the enter so now we'll check here so it says nothing to commit working tree is clean so we have successfully added the foo into the dev branch right because our pointer is to dev so whatever the commit we are going to do it it will going to be commit in the dev branch so here the in message also you can see that is done by dev and after that here the file is changed and uh, you know here we can see the dev so it's currently this changes is done in the dev branch all right so let's uh, let's check out to master so we'll say git check out master all right now we'll do ls so here we cannot see that file which we have created foo.rp but it's there in the current working directory so this is a logic uh, whatever the changes will do in the development branch by default it will not go into the master branch so that's the reason when we have checked out to the master branch from development branch from the dev branch changes will by default not get merged into the master branch so if we again go to the dev branch and if we do the ls so we can see that foo.rb in the dev branch but same foo.rb is not visible or it's not there in the master branch the reason is that same whatever the changes will do in the development branch will not by default or automatically merge to master branch that we have to do because it's very very sensitive we cannot do every code we cannot release each and every code into the master branch so for example developer done the lot of changes so that that changes should not go into the master branch automatically right so that is a things uh, release management come into the picture we have to cross check everything and after that we have to merge those changes into the master branch all right so in next video we'll uh, continue with the same branching part thank you so much